Hey guys, in this one, I want to show you how to build a personal wiki or a wiki in general in the Notion app. So this is specific to the app for iPhone and Android. Make sure to check out all the links in the description for way more Notion tutorials and a bunch of other helpful videos and information. But let's get into building a personal wiki in the Notion app. As we get the Notion app started up, if you're brand new to Notion, you might get this page, which is getting started on mobile. There's just some help tutorials in there, but we can come to this menu in the left-hand side and press this. And as you can see, I've got a couple of pages already, but the way that we create a personal wiki is by adding a new main page. And then we can put all the different projects and areas of our life in that main page and link to them as well. So what I'm gonna do is press add a page right here. It's gonna take me through to the new page builder. You can go ahead and choose a template. There's tons on Notion that you can use. But for this one, we're gonna create an entirely new page. So I'm just gonna cancel out of there. Now a wiki really is just a page to organize all the things or areas in your life all in one place. You can link to them all there. And that's an easy way to go through to loads of different pages. First thing we need to do is really title the page and you can call this personal wiki if you want, or you can be a little bit more personal. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna call this James's wiki or you can put my wiki in there, whatever's easy for you. So we can come down here now, we've titled the wiki, now we can start to create it. So with wikis, you need different areas of your life and you need to split them all up so they look good and they're all separated. The best way to do that on the mobile app is to actually first just create some headings. So I'm gonna create three areas of my life. One is work, one is health and one is tasks. What I can come and do is press this plus button on the left hand side and I want to add a heading. So it's going to be a big section for a heading right here. Heading one is going to be work. This is an area of my life and I'm just going to press return to come down a little bit lower on the page. I'm going to then add another heading. So press plus again and then heading one. This is going to be health. I'll press enter a couple of times to go down the page and then press the plus button again. This one is going to be tasks. So heading section one and tasks. So now, as you can see, I have three areas of my life that can be split up, work, health, and tasks. The easiest way on the mobile app to do this is to then click in between these sections and create a divider. We can come to the plus button once again, and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see this divider here, and you can visually divide blocks like this. So just click on this and you'll see a divider comes in between the work and health areas, and you can do exactly the same for health and tasks as well. So press the plus button, click the divider, and those three areas are now split up. This isn't much of a wiki though, so under each heading, there are a couple more areas and sub projects that you can put in there. So. What I'll do for work is click here and I want to go to the plus button once more. And this time I want to embed a sub page. So I'm gonna click on this option. You can see it comes through to a brand new page and this is a sub page now within our personal wiki. I'm gonna call this one weekly tasks because that is a subsection of the work project and page and area of my life. So for now we can just title it and that's fine, it's done. You can see even at the top that James's wiki is right there and then weekly tasks is now a sub page within that. What we can do is just swipe to the left and go back and it will take us through back to the main wiki page. I can then do this a couple of more times and if you ever want to move the dividers or any of these areas around, you can do that. Make sure that the keyboard is minimized and just press and hold on an area and as you can see, you can move it around wherever you want. So I'm just gonna put that there for now. I'm gonna move this divider right here down a little bit so I have some space, click right here, and then we can add yet another page. So we go to embed a sub page and we can name that as work group for now. That is now another sub page. So I'm just gonna swipe back into the main personal wiki page and you'll see that's now updated. If we now come down and do exactly the same thing for health, so I can add a page in here. This will be my workout routine. So yet another page and we'll just label this workout routine. And hopefully you get the idea by now so you can add as many pages as you want. And I'm just gonna go through adding three pages to each of the different areas in the wiki. And now our personal wiki is definitely taking shape. I've added three main headings, work, health, and tasks. And then under each of those headings, we have three sub pages each that we can go and edit. 
So maybe you wanna go into Habit Tracker. You can literally now press this. So now we're in our Habit Tracker page and you can populate this page with anything that you want. You can come to the plus button once more and you can maybe add a table or some bulleted lists, maybe some numbered lists. So these are maybe habits that you want to do every day. Drink at least two glasses of water or something like that. You can set that page up exactly how you like, but that is a sub page. So if we go back to the main wiki now, you can see all of our pages are right here for us. The pages don't really stand out though. You can definitely change this. So if we go into habit tracker once more, what we can do is scroll up once and you'll see those three options come up. We can add an icon. If you just press the icon, it's gonna come up with a random emoji, but you can actually press it once more and then change that to exactly what you want. You can even upload your own image or you can just search for an emoji that may be quite appropriate to what the page is about. So I can choose maybe a clock for this one and that's fine. And then when I scroll back, you can see now the habit tracker has a clock as an icon. So I've now given all of these an icon and it just makes it look a little bit better. It makes them stand out, but this is essentially a personal wiki. We have my heading at the top. We then have areas that are split up and some sub pages underneath. You can go in, let's say to weekly tasks and you can keep creating sub pages really easily. So you can tap here to continue and then you can press plus. You can actually embed and add a page in this one as well. So this is a sub page within a sub page. You can choose a template, anything you want, maybe a calendar or a list like this, and it's gonna import all of that for you. So you can definitely play around with that. You can add as many templates and additions to each page as you want. And I've got other tutorials on Notion, how to create pages, how to use all of the different templates and everything like that. I will link them below. So go and check them out if you wanna learn how to do that. Then when you scroll back, it's gonna take you back to that initial weekly tasks page. As you can see, we've got that page right in here. And if you scroll back again, it's gonna take you back to that main personal wiki page. What's really great as well is that if you scroll to the hamburger menu, all of your pages should be here for you to see underneath James's wiki or your personal wiki. You can press the small triangle icon next to the wiki and all of the pages in there are gonna be shown for you. So you can see them all one by one. Then you can go into any sub pages by clicking the arrow on, let's say weekly tasks. We just added that untitled page. Any sub pages within that also can be accessed via that triangle as well. So it's really easy to find exactly which page that you want, but the wiki really is just the top main page that organizes everything else. You can also change where that wiki appears. So if you go back to the hamburger menu, press and hold on the main wiki page, you can move it up and down. If you have a bunch of pages here, maybe your wiki would be at the top so it's easy to get to. You can put it right at the top there. But that is the basics of creating a personal wiki on Notion. Check out the links in the description for way more Notion tutorials and helpful information. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.